my name is Ramon, cosmetic chemist, esthetician, lover of all things cosmetics. And here we are wrapping up my favorite skincare products of 2022. But today's video isn't skincare, it is body care, hair care, miscellaneous. If you haven't already, go watch my video roundups of my favorite skincare products of 2022. We've already done cleansers, toners, treatments, moisturizers, sunscreens, and this is the last video we're talking about body care, hair care, makeup. Some other stuff. For real, this was a year for like hair care discovery for me. I was really in my hair care bag, especially kind of getting into it from a more formulation perspective. So there's a lot of hair care here. In terms of body care, the vibe was self care. The vibe was juicy, plump, moisturized body skin, smelling good. And then realistically, there wasn't a lot of makeup discoveries this year. Realistically, I have, I think one product I'm really highlighting, but let's get into it with body care first. First up from Crave Beauty. This is their Great Body Relief. And the whole point of this was it's a body moisturizer that was super Thing. And full disclosure, I have a personal relationship with the brand and the owner. But this is a really fun launch to see just because with body care, I mean, you just get standard body moisturizers. I think little gets factored into like soothing body formulas, especially if you're going to see in the rest of this video, you feature actives like exfoliants and whatnot into your body routine. Having something that's going to help soothe the body in a fuller size packaging is really nice to have. I love the Great Barrier Relief Face Serum. So to have it in body form, it's really nice. This wears really nice on the face. I'm going to be really honest with you. I have done full head to toe like lather in this. I really did like this. This is practically empty, you can see. I actually thought my boyfriend stole this from me because he also really loved this as well. But yeah, a really nice addition to the Grave Beauty line. I wanna see what else they do with body care just because this was a really cool launch. They are slowly starting to revamp their launches. They did their oil cleanser, they did this. They have some really fun launches coming up in 2023. So I wanna see what else they do with body care. But speaking of actives and body care, one of my favorite discoveries of this year is from Village 11. This is their AHA 12% Relaxed Day AHA Exfoliating Body Lotion. Mouthful right there. I bought this on Yes style because I think I saw this was like on a recent launches thing and I really enjoy Village 11 products and I was like 12% glycolic acid body lotion. What's that about? This is spicy. This is in, it's 12% glycolic acid. It's very intense. This is actually what I was using to prep my body for tanning. So I would do this the night before and the next day I'd go in and tan. It's also great on your feet. So after you get out of the shower or before you put on your shoes, I would put some of this on my feet. Heels, so smooth. Feet, so nice. So yeah, I will say this is intense. That's why the Crave Great Body Relief was really nice to have but this was a really surprising discovery from a Korean brand so yeah if you want like intense body exfoliation this is a really cool option to have if you don't like scrubs two products from Beauty of Joseon I was very surprised by these were featured in their advent calendar and I actually got to see them in store when I was just in Seoul this month full disclosure I do have a personal relationship with the brand but I was really really surprised by these this is their Garden of Joseon body care line this is their Pine Grove body cream as well as their Pine Grove body wash these oh my gosh so I was talking to them and I was like why this scent profile? They like, really wanted something more unisex, not for men, not for women. Everyone could really enjoy it. We also really wanted like a fresh earthy scent. So the smell for these is very, it reminds me of like you're walking in like an evergreen forest. It's kind of mossy, kind of piney, kind of woody, but the smell is so nice. And what I love about it, first of all, this body cleanser is so silky. And in the shower with the warmth and the steam, it just creates a very like spa experience. And then the body cream, I was actually the most surprised by the body cream. The texture of it, it's really lightweight. It's very hydrating. It melts into the skin and you're left feeling very silky soft. And what I really like about it is when it comes to nighttime moisturizing, I have an issue where if the moisturizer is too thick and rich, I start sweating. This like disappears on the skin, but you're still left like moisturized, but it just like melts in. You feel so nice and soft and then you smell delicious. So I was really, really surprised by how much I really enjoyed these and the smell is so nice. The smell is so nice, so rich. I really like how they went in that direction. I asked them, I was like, are you doing more in body care? And they were like, we really just wanted to try one thing. So I don't actually know. So I'm kind of disappointed in that, but maybe if we bully them enough. Enough. Continuing in the body wash direction, two, and I've spoken about both of these in great lengths on my other platforms, but from Naturium, these body wash launches were a hit this year. This is the multi oil. You can see this is empty. This is my third bottle of this. This is, I don't want to say crack, but this is crack. What I love about this is the fact that it's just so nice and silky on the skin. It's a multi oil in the sense that it's supposed to leave your body like nicely nourished and like moisturized after you finish showering. And this is just such a great texture. What I love about it most, on top of it feeling so nice and silky on the skin, is this smells. So, mm, this smells so yummy. This smells like Rice Krispie treats to me. And I have this like ongoing poll where I ask people like, what does it smell like to you? A lot of people say it smells sweet like candy, like very tropical fruit. I don't get that. I get Rice Krispie treat and I love a Rice Krispie treat, so I'm not complaining. Down below in the comment section, tell me like, what does it smell like to you? And then obviously they launched like, what, six of these total. I have the glycolic acid one as well. This again, very interesting to see actives like this in a body wash format that isn't salicylic acid or benzoyl peroxide. I really like this. It really is similar to the Village 11 
than AHA moisturizer I just mentioned in terms of like the feel and smell actually like alkalic acid has a very specific smell in an emulsion but this is really nice and I think pairing this with body lotion is really great for self tan prep I'm testing it in terms of targeting like body pigmentation so I'm not fully done with my little test yet but a really cool addition to have into a body care routine especially if you want active but you're worried about the intensity of it having them in wash off products like this is a much more gentle way of incorporating them the only other one of these I've tried is the salicylic acid one and what I like about both that one and this one is that I love using those head to toe so I will use these as shampoo I will use this as face wash and I use these as body wash and exfoliants in the hair do a lot of great things obviously salicylic acid is great for the scalp glycolic acid I found out is very good specifically for the hair shaft so really cool things to discover but those are the only three I've tried personally I have not tried the other half of the body wash lines I've also not tried the body lotion though so if you have let me know what your thoughts on those are and I think this is the last body care product this is the body treatment from topicals they're faded brightening and clearing mist I love the faded serum for face when it comes to targeting pigmentation so I was really interested to see them segue into body care with very similar features because my big thing with body care is I want actives I want treatment based products for the body and yeah you can use your face products on your body but sometimes a there's issues with concentrations and technically toxicology but also the packaging is so small and I have I have a body I have a full-size body and I want fuller size products addressed to body so seeing this was really really cool specifically I've been testing this out on a patch of pigmentation on my thigh where I got a scar and I think so far this in tandem with the glycolic acid products I showed already have been doing really really good work but specifically what I like about this is that this has tranexamic acid kojic acid alpha arbutin niacinamide liquor shoot extract and glycolic acid as a serum I was a little bit worried about the texture but what I love is that I'll spray this pat this in and it sets so that you don't have this weird greasy or sticky patch on your skin like it just sets down really nicely and that's something I really like to see because I'm not trying to get up in my bed all sticky and nasty or put on clothes to have it feel all weird so really really good texture sensory experience and also I think it's working really well at targeting that pigmentation but stay tuned I'll hopefully have a full review on that now let's get into hair care and again this was like the year of hair care half of this was purchased half of this was PR but all of these are just really interesting and serve different purposes the first product I have is from a brand called grow us this is their sea salt therapy scalp scaler I love a scalp scrub does it really do anything I don't know but I love a scalp scrub especially one that like has a little bit more going on for it this is a full size packaging you can see I actually haven't used a lot from this because I just purchased this on my recent trip to Seoul but I discovered this because the first time I went to Seoul the Sephora person put a few samples of this in my bag and I burned through those really quick this is a scalp scrub what I love about it is that you work it into your hair it just turns into a really nice rich lathering shampoo that has a really nice invigorating cooling sensation to it it feels really nice in the hair and it smells delicious so I had to buy a full size of this I think you can actually get this at Olive Young as well I have not looked for this here in Europe or America so I don't know where else you can get it but this was a really fun little discovery in Seoul and I needed to buy a full size of this so stay tuned for full review a similar product you can get in America from Sunbum this is their detox scalp scrub I always mention with Sunbum what it comes down to is the scent I love that Sunbum scent I love that like banana sweet nutty scent to it this has that but it's like in a thick shampoo slash scalp scrub texture how you're supposed to use this same thing with the gross one is I like part my hair in sections deposit a little bit and then I work that into my scalp really making sure I like get that nice scrubby effect and then this one specifically also has a really nice rich shampoo lather as well so what I'll do is I'll do a first quick cleanse to kind of break down product and rinse that away and then I'll go in with this really target my scalp really wash my hair I just love the way this makes my hair feel afterwards and the, the smell that lingers after is really really nice as well so if you're looking for a drugstore version of the gross one it doesn't have that cooling effect but this smells nice and feels nice in the hair my boyfriend's favorite product from this year in the hair care category this is from a brand called doctor for hair this is the end of silk oil essence he discovered this I don't know why but he bought it from Olive Young and I actually came to find out Adil Manad one of my favorite content creators who does a lot of stuff around Korean beauty she really likes this brand as well and basically what this comes down to is it says it's a silk oil essence it's really just like a dimethicone oil based hair serum I like to use this after I've styled my hair and need to tame some flyaways or if I want my hair to be like a little bit more silky soft I'll put this in after I condition and I'm out the shower and the sheen this gives your hair the way your hair is just so soft afterwards it's really nice when I went back to Korea right now I had to buy two backups of this one for him and one for me just because this is really nice to have in the hair and it helps me tame how frizzy and how dry my hair really is sometimes and so I'll put this in there you really can't tell right now honestly but this is really nice to put after my styling products when I just want my hair to be a little bit more manageable a little bit more soft and look like I like did it but didn't do it didn't put a lot of effort in this just has a really nice effect on the hair it doesn't smell it doesn't have a smell to it but this has a really nice conditioning effect on the hair and this was the year again after discovering some of the Korean products I got in Seoul I was like let me see what else they got going on in Korea and Japan so on yes style I went to the hair care section which I've never visited before and I bought a few different products that I 
genuinely have not been able to stop using. First up from a brand called Tsubaki, I think. This is the Tsubaki Hair Milk. This is like, think of it like a hydrating serum for the hair. I don't know what's in this. I need to look into it. But what I'll do is I'll shampoo in the shower. So imagine me in the shower, I'll use one of my scalp scrubs. My hair's clean. I come out. First thing I do is put this in just because this has less of an oily texture and more like a hydrating like gel cream texture. I'll work this through my hair and then my hair is automatically just like a lot more soft, a lot more manageable. Now what I'll do is I'll go in afterwards with this from Eliza Vecca. This is their Sarah 100 Collagen Coating Protein Ion Injection. I don't actually know what this is supposed to do. I think this is technically a conditioning treatment and I know for a fact this does have like hydrolyzed proteins in there which are really great for damaged or dry hair. I have yet to really research the ingredients in any of these products. I just really like using them. I have been waiting till I finish the products and have empty and get some more products to test out to do a full hair care video where I really break down formulations and everything. But I had someone I follow on Instagram mention that this for them is a dupe of K18, which spoiler, I have actually in this video as well. I need to look into it a little bit more just because the way K18 works and the way this works are very different, but I think the overall result and benefit, at least topically, is very similar. This was mad cheap. And this, A, the smell of this for me is super nostalgic. It reminds me of when I used to watch my, my dad's sisters, my aunts get ready and they do their hair. This smells delicious. This is really cheap and a little bit this goes a long way when you're working this through the ends, but it makes your hair so silky, so soft, so much more manageable. So this was a home run. I've already ordered two packets of this. And then last from this little hair care haul, this is a brand called Lease, I think. And this is their Heat Friends Mist. I was looking into heat treatments, heat protectants, just because I blow dry my hair. I've started to straighten my hair and I have a lot of friends who work in hair now and like learning a little bit more about hair care. Like I understand the importance of a heat treatment for protecting hair from damage. I ordered a couple and this to me was the standout because a, I like the little spray and B, this smells delicious. And C, this in itself actually functions as a little mini styler. Like this has somewhat light hold. So it's a little bit like a sea salt texturizing spray in my mind, but I really enjoy this. This is actually like almost empty. I've ordered a backup of this as well, but heat protectants are important. My mindset was, well, let me look at what the Japanese are doing. Cause I like what they do with hair products as well. And that's why I bought this, really enjoy it. Again, when I do my full hair care review, I'll break down the formulation behind this, what heat protectants really do and why they're important. But just know for now, they really like this. And as I mentioned, K18 is definitely on this list. K18 had a big moment this year. I mean, Olaplex had its position for a long time. So to see some other like player come into the game and be like, we have something that kind of does the same thing, but is a little bit different and might be better, was very different. And as I've mentioned in prior videos, Olaplex to me is confusing. It is complicated. There's a lot of steps, a lot of going on there. I feel like you need someone to hold your hand to figure out what to buy. K18 is very simple. You got two shampoos and a treatment. This is the detox shampoo. This is the pH maintenance shampoo. I'm gonna be honest and say, I think I reach for the detox shampoo a lot more. What I love about these, a little bit of these goes a very long way. I do a few drops. I literally just like start like doing this in my hair, full lather, and it smells delicious. The detox one smells so yummy. And so I like the fact I don't gotta use a lot of product. I love the way it feels in the hair. I love the way it smells. And then what I do is I rinse it away and then I'll go outside of the shower. I'll put in the treatment. The treatment is nice. As you can tell, I'm kind of starting to look into hair conditioning treatments, see what works for my hair. The treatment itself is okay. It's expensive. What I like is that if you don't want a full size product, you can get a small size for cheap. Try it out. You don't need a lot of the product again, because with these conditioning products, what you're really doing is working them into the ends of your hair, not from root to tip, just because they're really affecting the ends, the damaged ends of your hair. But if I think you're going to try K18 out, I really like the detox shampoo specifically. This was PR, full disclosure. But when the brand reached out to me to send me PR, they also mentioned wanting to speak to me to kind of explain the whole behind the scenes of the line. So that still has yet to happen. I really want to hear really how they explain how the peptides work in terms of I think what they do is they restructure the bonds in the hair. That's the thing. The way the peptides in this work and the way Olaplex work are different, but they affect overall damaged hair. So when I have that call and I have used the products more, I'll come and do a full review on the channel, but have really been enjoying these. And that's hair care. Let's do miscellaneous right now. I have one fragrance I want to talk about. I've mentioned this before on my channel from a brand called Tambourines. This is the, but I wouldn't go home yet. When I went to Seoul and I was with my friends, they took me to an area of Seoul called Karusugin. And in that area, it's a lot of really cool shopping, a lot of really cool shops specifically a lot of cosmetic shops as well. But they took me to first a store called Gentle Monster. And Gentle Monster is essentially like this like fashion sunglass store. It's really like an experience when you go there though. These stores in Seoul, they don't play around. It's a whole like customer experience and then you can shop there at the same time. The same company that owns Gentle Monster owns this brand called Tambourines. And Tambourines, similar hype, similar feel to like Aesop where it's like basically about scent. You got like lotions, candles, fragrances. And that is also a like immersive exhibit experience. There's like interesting art installations there. It was really fun to go to. I have footage that I'm gonna hopefully post on my TikTok, so go follow me there to see that. But one of the scents I really, really love from them was, but I wouldn't go home. This has notes of Angelica Root, Blonde Wood, 
Violet and Lavender Abs. Don't know what that is. And they were like, this is a multi-fragrance. So obviously you can use it, spray it on your fabric, spray it in your hair, spray it around the room. This just smells really nice. It smells very warm and very light to me. So this is kind of like a all types of occasions scent or I'll layer it under something that's more intense, but it just smells really fresh. And what I like is I use this a lot because the mist on this is more subtle and I don't even think I've gone through half of this already. So you get a lot of bang for your buck. But next time I go to Seoul, definitely exploring some more options from them. I did buy a hand cream from them as well and I can't find it, but that also smelled delicious. So yeah, if you're looking for essentially Korean fragrance brand or new fragrance brand to try out, Tambrin's is a really hot brand and their products are really, really cool. And then one makeup product I'm gonna shout out because again, I did not use like a lot of makeup this year, I don't think. This is a product I have not been able to put down. When I went to Seoul, I tried one and I ended up going back to buy like five or six backups. This is from Be Ready. This is their magnetic fitting cushion. And this is like the perfect shade, the perfect finish, the most beautiful texture on the skin. It's just a little BB cushion. I also bought the concealers from the line and I love those as well because they are just so hydrating on the under eye area. They have really good coverage, but the finish of them is, it looks so hydrated. They don't accentuate any fine lines or texture. And so overall, amazing makeup discovery. We got to go afterwards to the Amore Pacific, like full brand experience. And this is an Amore Pacific brand. And so we got to see this alongside all the other Amore Pacific brands. And so it's interesting that this is like their main men's line. It's also interesting that this is the only line they have that goes into like a medium shade range beyond just like a light to fair range. But when I went to Seoul this last time, I could not find this shade. I have the deepest shade, which tells you a lot, but I could not find the shade. And so I'm really disappointed. So thankfully I still have two backups, but this was, I think, hands down, my favorite makeup discovery, my favorite makeup product of this last year. It just sucks that I'm not using it as much as I want to because I want to make the products last longer. And then last category I have is actually eye cream just because I forgot to put it in my moisturizer video. I have two. First up from Jordan Samuel. This is his eye performance gel. This is the most interesting product to me because this is an eye gel. It's a completely translucent gel texture, but the minute you lather this onto your under eye area, your under eye just automatically like visually plumps up. It looks so hydrated. Your under eyes look so juicy. And this stays a very hydrating layer on the under eye area. It's also kind of tacky, so your concealer sticks to it really nice. But this, hands down, is one of my favorite eye products I've ever tried. The most interesting, unique texture as well. And I want like seven more of these. And I also want like a full face version. Really cool texture, really cool experience, really cool effect on the under eye area. This has some other ingredients in there that are great for the under eyes, like caffeine. You got some peptides up in there and you have like green tea extracts. So you're getting some antioxidant benefits as well. But more so as someone who, I have, I, have a, I have a specific relationship with my under eye area as I'm getting to become a certain age. And also as I'm kind of getting back in my eye cream bag. This was a lot of fun to use. And then the last product for the eye cream category and for this video period from Glow Recipe, their Guava Vitamin C Bright Eye Gel Cream. Full disclosure, I do have a personal relationship with the brand. I also did an ad for this as well. But this, again, what I love about Glow Recipe, it's fun to use. It works really well. This features encapsulated vitamin C. You have caffeine, you have niacinamide, you have some peptides in here as well. But fundamentally, this is a light hydrating gel cream. So similar to the Jordan Samuel one, it goes on the under eye. It visually plumped up and hydrated. Your under eyes look very, very juicy. And this also features encapsulated vitamin C derivatives. So you're getting the active benefit and a very gentle kick. When it comes to me getting into my eye cream bag this year, it's really looking at eye creams that have actives that target specific under eye concerns that we all have. Darkness, fine lines, texture, what it may be, but that do so in a way that is gentle and more specific to the under eye area. So a lot of times I'm looking at encapsulation or like gentle delivery systems that penetrate effectively, but aren't going to irritate the sensitive under eye area. So this for me was a really, really good find. I have emptied one of these. I'm halfway through a second one and I've seen a lot of benefit with this. I also just love prepping my under eye for makeup with this. I see a huge difference with how the makeup sits, how it lasts throughout the day and overall with creasing because I feel like I don't get as much creasing as I did before. This is like a really good under eye primer, but yeah, really standout product. I've been revisiting and looking at other eye creams that I've had in my collection or that I've seen people talk about. And so to me, this and the Jordan Samuel one were big eye openers to how eye creams have changed a little bit in the last few years and hopefully a really cool direction that they're going in. One product that I really want to try out and I want to see this ingredient in more eye cream products is Naturium launched their Vitamin K Serum. I have not used it yet. I haven't gotten it yet. But Vitamin K is an interesting ingredient that targets under eye darkness that isn't specifically related to pigmentation. So it's related to more of the blood accumulation issue. So I want to see how that works for under eyes. I know some people who are currently testing it out for that specific benefit, but I remember seeing them launch that product, looking into the ingredient and being very interested in that specific benefit. And so I don't know why more brands have not put that in under eye creams. But stay tuned, hopefully in 2023, I will try that out, test it out, see how that works. But with that, that is my favorite body care, hair care, and miscellaneous products of 2022. Let me know down below in the comment section, have you used any of these products? Are they any of your favorites? And what is some of your favorite body care and hair care of this last year? Do not forget to go back and watch all my other favorite products of 2022.
of 2022 videos. Those will be linked up in the card. Also, do not forget to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so that you know when I post more skincare, sunscreen, and fancy related content on my channel. Give it a thumbs up and thanks for watching, guys. Bye.